Vicky, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title I'm basically going to be showing you guys my DMV makeup to get your permit your license get whatever you need man your ID picture this is a look so if you guys want to see how I got it and how it literally took me 11 minutes because I'm panicking because I'm nervous <laughs> then please keep watching boom not me having 30 minutes exactly to get ready because I decided to wake up late and not listen to my alarms. I literally prepared a bag last night. Like I always keep my everyday makeup in here but I really wanted to just keep what I wanted to use in here for today because I, I, I somehow knew myself. I was like, Nikki, you may wake up late. You may not be able to find anything, babe. And here we are. So I'm just taking my e.l.f. Pointless Putty Primer and putting that all over. I was going to use SPF, but for some reason, you know, I can't think right now. Well, that's bad because I need to think for the damn test. But I feel like SPF is going to give me some flashback. So I'm not doing it right now. Hey, on me if you want I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me powder to just help control shine. I especially like to put it in my T-zone because for me that's where I get oily most. So I like this step before foundation, especially before the foundation that I'm going to use because it really helps it give the really pretty like velvet matte finish. It's actually quite beautiful. It's 8.29. Okay, I have 31 minutes. So sorry. I'm using my LA Colors brow pencil. I feel like I've called this the wrong thing like so many times. There's like LA Girl. Well, that's the only thing, LA Girl. So maybe I got it right. No, LA Pro. No. Anyways, I'm using the pencil. It's in medium. And I'm just lightly filling in my brows. I'm kind of going along with the hairs. I'm not making them a new shape or anything. But I'm going in the direction of the brow hairs. To keep those bad boys in place, oh my god, I look pale. It's the stress. No, I'm kidding. To keep those bad boys in place, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. And I'm going to just set them. I'm not looking for it to give me too much of color, so I'm just brushing my hairs in the direction that I want, like so. I'm going into my favorite concealer, or one of, which is the CoverGirl True Blend, and I'm going to put that on my eyes and then also on like any imperfections like so any pimples or any dark spots that I kind of want to be a little more covered than the huge because girl flawless flawless picture I'm using my beauty blender to blend it out I'm gonna take that same brush with that same powder a little bit and right away lightly tap it on especially like in the middle because that's obviously like where my eyes crease is where I crease what a sentence I'm gonna blend out the other concealer oh my god this is like a really fast get ready with me <laughs> so for foundation I'm taking the Oma Beauty foundation this is their say what foundation in shade honey honey t2w I love this foundation because it is really a soft matte finish so you know on the skin it looks really nice and flawless especially when I add the powder onto my skin before adding it on it really helps with the soft matte finish of the foundation so I really like that plus it'll help me prevent from being a little oily because if I say sweating because I'm like you know nervous but I don't know you'll kind of see like because it is soft matte, like, you may get a little shiny from it, but it's nothing bad at all. It's like a really, it's like a velvet, you know? But then once you use powder underneath, I feel like it really, like, almost perfects the finish 
at least for like what I liked with this foundation. This is where I need to be careful. So I'm gonna take that same CoverGirl True Blood Concealer. I don't know if I said the shade. I don't know if I said the shade, but it's in buff beige. And I'm going to be highlighting with that, but not heavily as I put a whole bunch on my forehead. But just enough. Cause I still want that like contrast of like highlight and contour but i want it to be very very blended because i don't need to be looking like white here and then freaking you know brown here i probably still will look like that but you know so i thought that counts whatever's left of the concealer i'll just take it um to the corner of my eye and blend upwards to kind of give yourself a facelift baby because quarantine quarantine has got me baby taking that same powder brush with the same maybelline fit me powder in shade light medium 20 and i'm going to eat jesus i can't speak i'm going to apply the powder um underneath my eyes like so with the brush kind of swiping it in to just really get it into the skin to help mattify and set it in place so we're preventing creasing but with a very light hand like the way i'm holding the brush i'm not like uh digging the brush into my skin um i'm actually just kind of letting the brush guide me if that makes sense So I'm gonna take my Kylie Cosmetics bronzer in shade Connie Mommy and I'm gonna take this e.l.f. angled blush brush. I'm only taking a little bit. You may see me tapping a lot, it's because I hit pan. So I kind of hit on that area to make sure that I'm, you know, getting rid of excess product. But what I like to do to not make my contour so harsh, I like to tap in what's on my brush first and then blend it out. To kind of get the product out and then we blend. So that could be like a tip, I kind of just tap it where i want it to be on like that certain angle you know and then i blend it especially on my cheeks because i found when i just go in with that hand girl i'll be looking insane <laughs> I'm gonna just take this Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of the bronzer and put that into my crease to just add some definition and some color. Honey, we need it. We're in a position where I think I'm gonna like it because um, I can't be fixing my hair at the DMV. Corona. So I think I'm gonna leave my face matte. I don't really want to add a highlighter because I mean I don't I don't think that's the smartest thing for me. So I'm gonna go straight into mascara. I'm gonna take the Essence Lash Princess mascara. I'm gonna apply that to my lashes. I'm not gonna apply falsies because girl the corners be lifting and I don't have time to be looking like my eyes are just <laughs> in this picture. I've been studying, as you guys will see in my vlog, if it's already up, I'll put the card up here. I've been studying, like, quite frequently, so, um, girl, the study better have been worth it, like, but I know myself, like, I just get so anxious that I just, anyways, I'm using the e.l.f. liquid liner to emphasize my beauty marks lightly, and while that's drying... Where's my lip liner, baby? Come on. I need to leave. 8.40. Oh my god, this was 10 minutes? 11 minutes? Hold on, girl. We're setting records. I'm taking my e.l.f. Retro Paradise lip liner. So what I'm going to do first to see how it looks, I'm going to take the lighter Retro Paradise liner from e.l.f. and shade in my... Yeah. 
inner lips, the center of my lips. I'm gonna shade it in to see how I like it with that. And then if I don't, I'm going to add my NYX lip lingerie and baby doll because that's my girl. Kind of want to stick to something that I feel like will really stay on my lips, like with my mask. So as I'm like debating adding a gloss, as if that's not gonna come all, come, come all over, come all over, come off all over my mask. Oh lord. Anyway. I kind of just like that. It's very nice. I'm here to get my photo up. Um, I'm taking that same powder brush and I am going to use the excess on my beauty marks to kind of tone them down a bit. I'm going to take a little more powder because it just really helps make the emphasis of them look more natural rather than I really did it. Um, and that's about it. I'm going to use my NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Spray. And that is it. This is very simple glam, very natural, and I really love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Do you